Yeah, dear Achim, I think we have hardly ever been in a situation like that, that uh, I am acting as a reporter asking you on the occasion of uh, becoming your successor as a director of uh, ECT Star, uh, how you felt about your four uh, very successful years uh, at ECT Star. Well, thank you very much for the uh, uh, for your judgment that I had four very successful years. Uh, I feel very humbly uh, to uh, to answer uh, to this. Indeed, it were four very interesting years, and uh, they were governed uh, by two very important. Uh, things. The first one is when I came the statutes between the FP Kappa and uh, the ESG Star had just been signed and uh, as a new director I was the one who had so to say to work on the problem to incorporate ESG Star into FP Kappa and uh, after four years again I say this humbly I think uh, it had been successful. We are fully integrated into the FB Kappa, and uh, uh, I think both institutions, the FB Kappa and the East Star, think it's very beneficial for each of them. There, there were a number of uh, real highlights uh, during your, should we say, government of uh, ECT Star uh, that I certainly try to remember, but. Uh, it is uh, uh, perhaps a nice occasion that uh, you bring forward some of these highlights in terms of the physics, the mission of ECT STAR, uh, the way uh, ECT STAR cooperates with uh, the uh, international scientific world, uh, the way its profile has developed uh, as a European center of uh, theoretical physics. Uh, perhaps you would like to comment on this as well. Yes, uh, with, with great pleasure. The first uh, is that uh, we uh, were able to secure sort of a stable budget such that uh, the uh, high level of excellence that the East Star has achieved before under the previous directors, you were one of them, could uh, be maintained essentially through in these four years and maybe even slightly in increased. The second uh, thing is that we have been able to stabilize the center with respect to uh, making uh, persons both in the administrative staff as well as in the scientific staff permanent. This was extremely important for this center in order to guarantee a continuity in the research and also to guarantee best possible support of the director in all his action. The third thing is, I think we have a very high reputation in the, in the European scene of nuclear physics. That is, uh, we are belonging, as you know, to the Nuclear Physics Collaboration, uh, European Collaboration Committee, NUPEC, and the uh, European National Science Foundation. and. This has developed into a real, very excellent association. We have uh, support and recognition from NUPEC and we are providing scientific support. The third one is that we have been able to continue doing research on a very high level. Uh, both uh, our four senior postdocs and our five to six junior postdocs have functioned extremely well covering nuclear physics from the lowest energies to the highest energies. Uh, and I'm extremely happy when I'm leaving uh, to hand you over an institute uh, that is uh, functioning. It's integrated in the FP Kappa and uh, it is um, even better integrated into the European scene and it has a great perspective with respect to uh, answer, finding answers to questions in modern nuclear physics. Well, from, uh let me first say that it's a great pleasure uh, to be together with you on the occasion, me leaving and you starting uh, as a new director. You have had some experience in directing the ESTI star from 
several years back, but now the EST star is integrated into the FP Kappa, the Fondazione Bruno Kessler, and this, so to say, changes uh, the picture somewhat. Uh, so let me ask you, after you have studied uh, within the recent weeks uh, um, the functioning of the EST star in its present stage, what are your plans uh, for the future? Yeah, first of all, I should like to say how much I appreciate the fact that you have created a uh, basis for continuing the work at ECT Star in the spirit of ECT Star that uh, makes it for me, how to say, relatively easy to uh, step in and uh, pursue the missions of ECT Star. At the same time, of course, a challenge. We all know about the uh, pressures uh, on the general budget situation all over Europe. And uh, I think uh, one of the very important uh, uh, enterprises that one has to pursue is to keep a certain amount of stability at the budget level in order to maintain all the uh, uh, missions, the, uh, uh, the goals of ECT STAR into the near future. Uh, there are these basic parts in the mission of ECT STAR, namely to do uh, top quality research in theoretical nuclear physics and related fields, uh, to foster active exchange between uh, experimental physics and theoretical physics in these various fields represented by ECT STAR. And a third point uh, to uh, maintain and uh, uh, perhaps expand a very active uh, training program for young scientists because after all the young scientists are our future. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, a certainly a an aspect of extremely high priority. Uh, these would be the three basic points to uh, uh, translate with perspectives into the future. And I would very much hope that this can be possible in the way you have succeeded so far. Uh, let me ask you maybe one further question. You're coming from a, a slightly different uh, field uh, in nuclear physics than I came from. I mean, you are a nuclear theorist and I'm a nuclear experimentalist. Now you have uh, a slightly different perspective for the future of nuclear physics. Could you elaborate a little bit on what you have in mind, particularly uh, is the star should move towards uh, nuclear physics uh, in Europe, for example? Mm -hmm. Well, there are. Uh, of course, uh, very strong developments, uh, for example, <clears throat> in exploring uh, matter under very extreme conditions uh, uh, at the LHC, the big large Hadron Collider yes. at CERN, and that produces extremely interesting results these days. Yeah. And I think ECT STAR can be a very good place, a place of choice to uh, uh, provide uh, the meeting point between experiment and theory for these new upcoming results. But that is just one out of many examples. Uh, uh, you have, of course, uh, 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 witnessed very actively in uh, the last uh, decade or so a certain tendency of uh, nuclear physics uh, to uh, become a bit more basic, more fundamental in its conceptual frameworks, linking it to uh, deeper levels of uh, the theory of the underlying very, very strong interactions. And I see uh, as a future line of research at ECT STAR just exactly to pursue uh, such kind of uh, developments into a deeper, deeper level understanding of the basis of nuclear physics. Yes. Well, uh, this is very exciting, uh, what you are painting, and, uh, and I wish you good luck in your endeavors uh, at the EC Star during the next uh, years. Thank you very much, you Achim, also. and thank, thank you, you so much for preparing the ground so excellently. Uh,